not a big DC comic fan, first and foremost. So my my knowledge of DC stuff extends to the cartoons. I was hooked on Batman animated series and Superman Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, and you know Batman Beyond, all that stuff. So that's the extent of my DC knowledge. More or less, a couple of comics I might have read. I read Batman. I remember reading Batman comics, Teen Titans, some Superman, um, some Legion of Heroes, um, but. My DC knowledge, you know, when it comes to Green Lantern, I, you know, my knowledge on it is just based on stuff I read on Wiki and some of the stuff I've been reading now with Blackest Night and stuff, so I'm not that knowledgeable on Green Lantern. So, you know, when I heard they made a Green Lantern movie, I was just kind of like, oh, okay, this could be pretty good, because, you know, WB, you know, they're, they're, you know, DC and WB, they're trying to get their foothold into the movie, like, movie business like Marvel is and stuff, so I had expectations about this movie. You know, not high expectations, but I have very good expectations. Like, hey, this could be a pretty good movie. So, you know, I saw the Comic-Con trailer and all the leak trailers and stuff, and I was like, okay, this could be pretty good, you know? And then I go into the movies and I watch it, and if I, if there's one thing, if there's one word to describe Green Lantern the movie, it's safe. The movie plays it too damn safe, and that's the huge, and that's a big problem. The movie is a by the books superhero movie, plain and simple. At no point in time does the movie take chances in trying to do something different. It just, it plays very safe and and, 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 and you don't, you can't play it safe when it comes to Green Lantern. You gotta, to me, you gotta go all out. And the thing of it is, the trailer tricked you into thinking that it was gonna be some Earth stuff and more Oa stuff, but nah, you didn't get that. It was a lot of Earth stuff and what stuff you got from Oa was like maybe, pfft, I would say 10 minutes at the most, you know, um, and, and I, you know, I gotta say that, you know, it is, okay, Ryan Reynolds as Hal Jordan, pretty good, I, you know, I think he did a pretty good job with Hal Jordan, I think he would have been a better Cal Rayner, but that's a different story, but he did a pretty good job, serviceable job as Hal Jordan, I can't complain, um, Mark Strong and Sinestro, very good. You can see the conflict in nature with them because him and Ab Ab Abin Sir, who is the guy who gave Hal Jordan the Green Lantern ring, you know, they were very close friends. And for him to see Hal Jordan get the ring, you know, it pisses him off. Like, well, who is this guy, you know? So you can see, you know, I enjoyed him as Sinestro. He had that attention to him and stuff. And, he, you know, the big baddie of the movie is Parallax. And, you know, at one point in the movie, you know, Sinestro is convincing the Guardians, like, hey, you know, send us in to take out Parallax. And they do, and when Parallax basically annihilates them, and probably the the stupidest, shortest fight scene ever, which that's that's another thing that pissed me off about this movie. The fight scenes with the Green Lanterns, they weren't spectacular. It could have been a lot better and a lot longer than what it was put out there. But you know, you know, Parallax takes out the Green Lantern crew that he was rolling with. And you can see the kind of tear in his eyes, like, oh crap, you know, Parallax is taking out people. So, his character, he's all about power and all about just discipline and stuff like that. So, you know, he did a pretty good job. Uh, Michael Clark Duncan is Clue Kilowog. Played Kilowog just like anybody else. He, you know, Kilowog was very good. Um, I believe, I forgot who played Tomar Ray. Tomar Ray was the bird looking creature. Um, did a pretty good job. I mean, all the Green Lantern Ola stuff was very good. It was was very phenomenal. I, I, I like that aspect of it. My gripe with the movie is just the earth based stuff. At no point Carol Femoris, I wasn't believing that love angle at all. I really wasn't. It it, it just came across more forced because as I said before the movie was saved in the HS. It seems as though they pushed a love angle that wasn't there. Like you can see the I guess you can see a connection, but I wasn't feeling that at all. Um, Peter Sarsgaard as Hector Hammond I think he did a pretty good job with the role of Hector Hammond. You know, my, again, my knowledge of Hector Hammond is very limited. Um, and, you know, he played him up as this very conflicting character. He has this power of parallax, you know, because at one point he gets, there's a shard of, he's basically doing an autopsy of Adam Sir's body. You know, the government gets it. And he gets pricked by the little parallax thing that's inside Adam Sir, and, you know, he starts transforming into this little grotesque creature with a ginormous head, you know, and he has all these mental powers and stuff. Um, I think he did a pretty good job. Uh, I, another thing, I, you know, two, 
Two people stuck out in this movie as wasted, as wasted, especially one. Uh, Angela Bassett as, uh, uh, uh Amanda Wall. Wasted. The, the, she shouldn't have been, the Amanda Wall shouldn't even have been in this damn movie in the first place. And I think they only threw that name in there just to get everybody hyped up into thinking that she was going to play a pivotal role, which, in this movie, she doesn't do jack crap in this movie except talk and try, you know, and that's it. And it, and it was wasted, and, 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 it, and it really is shit. Angela Bassett would have been better served being another character other than Amanda Wall. So that was wasted. Tim Robbins was wasted too as Hector Hammond's dad, and it, you know, it was stupid. Shouldn't have been in there. It's just, to me, overall, the movie was very disappointing. I, you know, I didn't hate it, but it, it just, it was disappointing, you know. And I, I really had high hopes for the movie because, you know, I was like, oh man, this movie could be good. Wasn't. And, and, and it's a damn shame. I know they're pushing forward the sequel, but. They gotta do a better job. And one thing, one other thing, the ending. Okay, he beats Parallax. Whatever. I thought that was whatever. The fight was all right, but it, I don't know. It's just it wasn't good enough. But anyways, at one point in the movie, Guardians make a yellow ring because Sinestro wants them to make a yellow ring to fight fear with fear. Blah blah blah. Hal Jordan says, "Hey, you know, we don't need to use the yellow ring. Let me take take care of it. He takes care of it. Defeats Parallax." But then by the end of the movie, after the you know initial credits, Sinestro puts on a ring, yellow ring. Now to me, that was stupid. It just seems more like fanboyish, because at no point in the movie did you sense that he wanted to put the ring on in the first place outside defeating Parallax. And it, I don't know, it just it seemed just jump the gun. So my overall sentiments on Green Lantern, I didn't like it. I know, you know, so if you have to see it, I guess you can see it, but I wouldn't waste the time to see it. I'll wait till, you know, this DVD cable or if you really feel like doing it. 